chapter 3 from verse 13. Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13. Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13. As they bring it to us, my name is Millicent Kaunda. Anaitwa mchungaji Kaunda. I'm married to one husband. Ameolewa na mwanamume mmoja. He is not in the house this uh, this afternoon. Hayupo mahali hapa siku ya leo. He went to pick our daughter who was finishing exams today. Ameenda kuchukua binti ambaye amalizi ya mtihani siku ya leo. But he has given me his blessings. Ameleta baraka zake. Uh, we are blessed with two children. Tunabarikiwa na watoto watatu. We have a young man 21 years called Keith Baraka. Wanae kijana miaka 21 anaitwa Keith. Baraka is in campus at the moment. Iko chuo kikuu huyo. And our daughter who has just gone to be picked, who Nabi, is 18. Nabi ntie, manake, nabi meka, kumina, nani. She's Joy Neema. Na ito, Joy Neema. And we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13. Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee. Yesu wakaya toka Galilee. To, jo, uh, to John at the Jordan. Akambia Yohana pale Jordan. To be baptized by him. Abatizwe nae. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And you are coming to me. But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, batizwa, Jesus came up immediately from the water. Yesu and behold, the heavens were opened to him. Kwake. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and, and, and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Let's go back to verse 16. Verse 16. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, Punde. The heavens Mbingu. were opened to Zika him. Kwake. The heavens were opened to Mbingu him. Kwake. As I was looking at that, I remembered our bishop uh, Bulimo sharing about sonship that opens the heavens. And that it's when the heavens were opened that God gave Jesus the affirmation. Yesterday the same scripture came up and the same issue of sonship came up. And we were reminded that this one thing that I carried home that when you go to the wilderness you go alone or you go with your father. That's what I carried home. And so today we want to look at operating under open heavens. Heaven, uh, open heavens. Now an open heaven is where there is a nearness to, of heaven to earth. No many times when we talk about heaven, we imagine it's some place that is way far up there. But when we talk about an open heaven, it means that heavens have been brought closer to earth. It means that whatever we've been asking God that his will uh, be done on earth as it is in heaven, it is actually being done now because the heavens have been opened. Open heaven has a sense of God's presence in our midst. Praise the Lord. I want us to look at Genesis chapter 28 verse 12. This is a, a story about Jacob. Uh, at a time when he had already taken the blessing that was supposed to be Esau's. And Esau was very mad with him. And so with the help of the mother, he is running away. He is going to his uncle's place. And in the process of walking, the Bible says that he got to a place and the sun, the sun had set. And so Genesis chapter 28 verse 12. Maybe we can read it. Uh -huh. Then he, let's begin verse 11. Verse 11. Okay, let's read from mine. And he alighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night. But the sun was set. 
And he took off the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamt, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to the heaven and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father and the God of Isaac the land whereon thou liest to thee will I give it and to thy seed and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west. And to the east. To the north. To the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest and will bring thee again into this land for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee. Verse 16, And Jacob awoke out of his sleep and said surely the Lord is in this place and I knew it not and he was afraid and said how dreadful is this place this is none other than the house of God and this is the gate of heaven this was a man who was running because of frustration and in the process of his running the Bible says that he got to a place when evening came and he took with himself a stone from that place and lay his head on it and started sleeping and the Bible says that while he slept he dreamt and in his dream he saw the heavens open and very many things just like we've read but he gets to a place where he is saying the Lord is in this place but I knew it not praise the Lord there are times we may come to a point of wondering whether God is actually with us maybe because of the challenges that we have been going through because of the troubles that we have been in just like Jacob yet the Lord is always with us praise the Lord he is constantly with us so long as we have already enlisted ourselves as his children the Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 12 that to as many as received him he gave them power to be called the children of God and so once you have received him and you have been given power to be called the child of God a child will always be taken care of by your father and so the father will always be walking with this child why? because he has been called by his name today I've just uh, told us today Leo that my husband is not here because he has gone to pick his Wala, daughter. Praise the Lord. Why? Because father, uh, fathers are concerned about their children. Just like we were told on, on, on Monday. Fathers are concerned about their sons. And this was what was happening to Jacob. He did not think that what he was going through, God ha. would really be involved in any manner. And so as he slept, all he needed to do was to sleep and wake up tomorrow morning and continue with the journey. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that he used a stone as a pillow. And then afterwards, after the dream, he took that stone, poured oil on it, and then set it up as a pillar, calling it a, the house of God. Praise the name of Jesus. As I look at that, it brings to me the type of Jesus Christ, the rock of ages. Whom when we are in a relationship with him, when we allow him to be our rock upon which we stand, and then the heavens are going to be open to us. So long as we have already put into perspective what we have been taught in the past, the heavens are going to be open for us. 
He might not look like someone who was really regarded in the times that he came on earth. He was the stone that the, the, the builders had rejected. But ultimately he became the chief cornerstone. He is the one we need in order to operate under open heaven. Praise the Lord. Each one of us has a desire to experience open heavens in our lives. Because with open heaven comes very many blessings in our lives. For Jacob, the open heaven came with a promise from the Father. He did not know what had been promised to his forefathers by this time. But when the heavens were open and he was able to see the ladder with angels ascending and descending, God came and stood beside him and said, Behold, I will be with you. It came with an assurance. It came with a promise. And the same thing happened when Jesus had open heaven above him. God affirmed him. And that is what we need as Christians. An affirmation from our Father. We each desire to experience the open heavens. You know, as I was looking at uh, the book of uh, Matthew chapter 3, I wondered why does the Bible call it open heavens? Why not open heaven? Why not open heaven? It's because there are three heavens. We have what we see which we call the firmament. We have the second heaven. And we have the third heaven. And no wonder Paul at one point says that he knows of a man who went into the third heaven. He does not know whether he went in the physical body or whether he went in the spiritual body. But he knows of a man who went into the third heaven. Now for there to be a third heaven There has to be a first heaven And there has to be a second heaven And no wonder the Bible says that the heavens opened In other words the firmament that we see opened And the second heaven opened And ultimately God spoke from the third heaven Giving an affirmation to Jesus Telling him he is his beloved son In whom he is well pleased All of us need an affirmation Affirmation. Praise the Lord. We all need an affirmation. And that will happen only when the heavens open. Now, we don't only need the heavens to open. But we also need to experience it in our lives. Because many times we hear speakers saying they have seen the glory of God. And for a very long period of time I kept asking myself where is that glory of God? How come I'm not experiencing it? It got to a point I went to God and I told him this glory of God that our speakers always, always speak about I want to also experience experience it. I want to touch the hem of your garment. I went to him like Moses did of old and said, if I have found favor with you, I also want to experience this thing that many people have been experiencing. It's one thing to get born again, but it's another to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It's one thing to get born again, it's another to experience the glory of the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to experience it in our lives. Because experiencing it will bring a difference in our lives. We also need to understand that we not only need to operate under open heavens, but we need to operate in the heavenly realms. The Bible says that he has, God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. So that means that the blessing you've been waiting for, the blessing Blessing I've been waiting for is already there. It has been released, but it is in the heavenly realm. There are those of us who have been waiting for marriages. It is in the heavenly realm. There are those of us who have been waiting for various miracles. It is in the heavenly realm. Then I started asking myself, How then can I 
get to the heavenly realm to get my blessing? If God has already released it for us, then what are we going to do so that we can get those blessings and they, they will become uh, physically manifested? The Bible also tells me in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 that Christ has raised us up and seated us together with Christ in heavenly places. Praise the Lord. So our blessings are not just in the heavenly realm. Our blessings are not just in the heavenly realm. But we are also seated in those heavenly places. Praise the Lord. It means whatever we want, we can have it. But many times, why don't we have it? Because we are ignorant of the heavens that already opened. The heavens opened, but we are not aware. The presence of God is in our midst, but we are not aware. And so we will continue struggling and struggling because of not being aware. I've looked at animals at times. When they are tied with a rope. Let's talk about uh, a dog, for instance. You keep tying it with a rope, tying it with a rope. A whole one ear, you are tying it with a rope. Even when you will loosen that rope, it will keep staying there. Because it does not know that it has been set. It will continue rotating in the same circumference. Now I want to bring it to us saints that we have been set free. We are no longer bound. Praise the Lord. We are no longer bound. We have been raised with Christ. We are seated with Him in the heavenly places. We have already been given everything that we need. The heavens were already opened that day when Jesus came from the water. Yesterday I was just asking my husband. You know he's my teacher. And I ask him many questions. Because the Bible also allows me to do that. And I was asking him. If the heavens opened above Jesus Christ, And the spirit of God descended on him and remained. In other words he never left. The spirit of God descended on him and remained. And as we read on the scriptures, I'm not seeing another place where we are told after that the heavens were closed. Praise the Lord. They were opened, the spirit came, and I can't Bebo see any other place where I'm told that the heavens mali. were closed. Now this Jesus, yes, who you? Upon whom the heavens were opened, upon whom the Spirit of God descended and remained, lives in you and lives in me. And so I was asking him, does it mean because the heavens have opened for him, they are also open for me because he lives in me? Because Jesus lives in you. And the heavens were already opened for him. And when the heavens were opened for him, he was able to operate in ways, in supernatural ways. And the Bible says that he dwells in me. He walks with me. Then those things that he was able to do, I will be able to do. Praise the Lord. And that's why he says, if you believe these things that I do, and greater things than this shall you also do. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 51 John chapter 1 verse 51 John chapter 1 verse 51 when Jesus was speaking to Nathaniel and he was getting amazed that Jesus could actually have identified him. And this is what he said. Most assuredly, I say to you, hereafter you'll see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. He is the ladder that connects us to the heavenly. Now, if he lives in me, it means that those angels that were descending and ascending will also descend and ascend in me. They'll also descend and ascend on you, and then I started asking myself, these angels, what were they carrying? They were carrying your blessing. They were carrying your breakthrough. They were carrying divine health. 
kukuponya kwako they were carrying everything that we have ever needed jambo lolote ambalo tunahitaji walikuwa nayo hapa duniani bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord praise the lord bwana asifiwe now if the heavens are open for us kama mungu zifunguka kwetu then the supernatural will be natural basi kiungu itakuwa ya kawaida Can I repeat that? Nirudie hiyo. If the heavens are open for us. Kama Mungu zafunguka kwetu. Then the supernatural. Basi uungu will be natural. Utakuwa wa kama la kawaida. It started on Monday. Ilianza Jumatatu. We were told we have to be what? Tuliambiwa. Sema tuwe wana. We have to be. Sema tuwe wana. And then yesterday. Yana tukaambiwa. We were told there will be a wilderness. Utakuwa na kiangazi there'll be a wilderness. Utakuwa na kiangazi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. After the wilderness when I read Father baada ya hiyo tutasoma kwamba Jesus began his ministry. Yesu alianza huduma yake. And he started operating in the supernatural. Katembea katika kiungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. So open heaven. Ufunguo kwa kwa kiungu. Not only gives us strength to go through the wilderness. Au tupatie nguvu kutembea katika. But after the wilderness has been done. Baada ya uangazi huo. It is for a time for us to stand up. Ni wakati wetu kusimama. And do that which God has called us. Na kufanya jambo hili ambalo Mungu ametuwekea. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mhm. By virtue of us operating under open heavens we arise and put all ignorance away we must realize that in christ we have everything praise the lord we must realize that when the heavens opened god spoke mungu aliongea praise the lord when the heavens opened god That's what happened when the heavens opened upon Jesus Christ. God spoke. Mungu aliongea. And what do we need in our lives? Nataka nini jambo maishani mwetu? We don't need to pray for a breakthrough. Hatufai kuomba katika ufunguo. We only need to pray for a word from God. Hatufai kuomba katika neno kutoka kwa Mungu. Because that word will carry us through. Na hilo litatutembeza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. When the heavens opened upon Jacob, Bibo zitufungia Yakobo. He was able to see the spiritual realm. Aliweza kuona katika sehemu ya kiungo. A realm that is as real as the realm that we live in. Utembo ambao unahusika katika maisha yetu. When the heavens open, we the devil cannot be able to stop you. Uwezi stopiwa na shetani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Shetani hatakusimamisha. Uwezi mamiwa na shetani. When the heavens opened, Mungu zinafunguka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Jesus needed an open heaven. Yesu alihitaji ufufufunguo wa mbingu. The Bible says. Maana Biblia inasema that he walked from Galilee. Alitembea kutoka Galilee hayo. Those days the only means of transport was a donkey. Siku hizo kwa wanatembea na punda peke yake. The horses were being used by soldiers. Farasi ilikuwa ni ya wapiga vita. But the Bible says that he came from Galilee. Biblia inasema alitoka Galilaya. To Jordan. Ali Jordan. So that he can fulfill all righteousness. Ili atimize mambo yote. And so that the heavens can open for him. Ili mbingu zifunguke kwake. He knew he was desperate for it. Alijua alitaka jambo hilo. Just like you and I are desperate for the heavens to open Kama for us. Kama tuwe na mimi tunahitaji sana mbingu zifunguke katika maisha yetu. We cannot do with a heaven that is as hard as bronze. Atuwe zifungua kama mbingu zimefungwa katika maisha yetu. We must be willing to live in obedience. Tuwe na nia ya kutembea katika kutii. So that the heavens will be able to open for us. Ili mbingu zifunguke maisha ni mwetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. He traveled from Galilee to Jordan because he was intentional. Ali Jordan sababu alikuwa na nia. He was intentional. Alitaka kusudi. My prayer for us today is that we will be intentional. Ombi langu ni kwamba leo tuwe na kusudi. We'll be intentional about having the the, the, the heavens open over each and every one of us. Tuwe na kusudi kama Mungu usifungue katika kila mmoja wetu. It doesn't happen by chance. Haifanyiki tu. We have to be intentional. Lazima tuwe na kusudi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. You become intentional to Unakuwa become a son. Unakuwa na kusudi kama mwana. You cannot mwana. just be a son. Uwezi kuwa tu mwana. It's an intentional thing. Ni kusudi hilo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. You sit back and you decide I want to be a son of God. Lazima ukae chini uamue kama nataka kuwa mwana wa Mungu. I want to be a son in the house. Nataka kuwa mwana katika jumba. And you have to be intentional for the heavens to open over. Lazima uwe na kusudi ili mbingu zifunguke maisha ni mwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. We need to realize that the enemy will do anything to try and stop you. Ya kwamba adui atafanya jambo lolote lile ile kusimamisha. I'd like us to read Isaiah chapter 14. Tusome Isaiah 14. From verse 12. Kumi na mbili. Isaiah 14 verse 12. Isaiah How you have fallen from heaven, O Lucifer. Ulaunka kutoka mbinguni wewe Lucifer. Son of the morning. Mwana wa asubuhi. How you are cut down to the ground. Ulikatwaje wewe toka duniani? You who weakened the nations. Unaifanya dunia ziwe 
For you have said in your heart. This is what Lucifer had said. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. But I want to remind you he was still brought down and so he cannot stop you praise the Lord he cannot stop you he was defeated now what are some of the benefits of us operating under open heavens under open heavens we get assurance from our father we get assurance and confirmations from our father God had spoken to Abraham in years past concerning a land that he wanted to give to him and his descendants and now the time when Jacob was on on transit running away when the heavens opened for him God came and reminded reminded Jacob about the land and so when open when God when God opens the heavens for us the promises that he gave us long time ago are reaffirmed. Praise the Lord. When the heavens open, our sonship is affirmed. We no longer live as people who are not having a, a father. We get to realize that we are children of the most high Our sonship is affirmed. We are no long, not only affirmed but we are also accepted. We are also accepted like Jesus was accepted. So when the heavens opened above us we are affirmed Affirmed, we are accepted and we are approved in readiness to go and do that which God has commanded us to do. When the heavens open, the Lord's voice rattles every cage. Thank you. <laughs> When the heavens open, every cage with which you've been feeling like you are caged, it is open because the voice of God rattles the cages. Praise the Lord. It could be cages that are coming from our mother's lines or cages that are coming from our father's lines. When the Lord opens the heavens for us and he speaks on our behalf, those curses can no longer hold us captive. We are able to walk in freedom. Praise the Lord. Those generational patterns can no longer hold us captive because the Lord speaks on our behalf. And his voice rattles every cage because his voice is thunderous. His voice is mighty. His voice breaks everything that could be holding us captive. And when the heavens open, revelations pour back and forth in our lives. Revelations are able to pour back and forth in our lives. When the heavens opened above us, God no longer be, uh, remains abstract. He becomes real. He becomes real. He becomes real. You know how many times we worship a God whom we don't know. A God who is way out there. A God whom you do not want to relate with. A God whom you are afraid that this God is uh, maybe looking out for something so that he can punish you. We we almost want to treat him like a God who is a policeman. But when the heavens opened above us, God becomes real. We get to know him as a God who is loving. We get to know him as a God who is concerned about our lives. We got to know him like as a God whom we can walk with. A God whom we can relate with. A God whom we can talk with. Because 
because he is real in our lives. Maana ni wa kweli maisha ni mwetu. We can share with him our intimate things. Tunaongea naye mambo ya ndani ya maisha yetu. We no longer are afraid. Atimuogopi tena. Because he has spoken. Maana amenena. He has affirmed us. Ametuhakikishia. He has accepted us. Ametukubali. And he has approved us. Ametuambia. So we are able to relate with him. Tunahusika naye hivyo. Like a God who is a father. Kama Mungu anaye ni baba. We can call him our heavenly father. Tunamuita baba yetu wa mbinguni. We no longer we no longer call him just God. Atimuiti Mungu tu. But we address him like our heavenly father. Tunamuita baba yetu wa mbinguni. Because father is intimate. Maana baba ni wa karibu sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Father is way more intimate. Baba ni wandani kabisa. Than God out there. Kuliko Mungu kule nje. So I can call him my daddy. Tunamuita dadi. Because the heavens have opened and I've come to know him better. When the heavens open, the Holy Spirit descends in our lives and remains. Praise the Lord. He descends in our lives and remains. Like he did in Acts chapter 2. When the disciples were on the, in the upper room waiting for the promise of the Father and the holy spirit descended on them when the heavens open for you jesus stands Yesu usimama. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. He is able to stand. Anaweza kusimama. And listen to you. Na kusikize wewe. He is able to stand. Anaweza kusimama. And hear you out. Na kusikize roho wako. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 28. Mwanzo 28. When Jacob saw the ladder. Wakati Jacob aliona ngazi ile. God was standing on top of it. Mungu alikuwa juu yake. He was not seated. Hakuwa ameketi. He wanted to communicate with his beloved son. Alitaka kuzungumza na mwanae anampenda. And so when the heavens opened above our heads. Bingu sifunguka hapo maisha ni mwetu. When the heavens opened for us. Bingu sifunguka hapo. Jesus stands. Yesu usimama. And he is able to fight your battles. Na anaweza kupigana vita vyako. Because we call him the mighty man of war. Na tunamuita bwana anayepigana vita. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. We call him the consuming fire. Tunamuita moto ulao. He stands on your behalf. Enasema katika niaba yako. You no longer need to fight. Na utaji tena kupigana tena. Because he will fight on your behalf. Bwana atakupigania wewe. When the heavens open. Mungu zifunguka hapo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. When the heavens open. Mungu zifunguka hapo. We are able to worship God. Naweza kumwabudu Mungu. In reality, in truth and in spirit. Kwa roho na kweli. Because he takes his place. Maana anachukua nafasi yake. As the ancient of days. Kama He takes his place as the ancient of days. Kama ancient of days here. When the heavens open, the radiant one gets manifested in our lives. Wale wanaokataliwa na wana The radiant one anayengaa. Wale anayengaa. Yule anayengaa. Yule anayengara. Anaweza kutambulika katikati yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. The radiant one is manifest. Praise the Lord. When the heavens open, angels appear and they minister to us. Praise the Lord. A few weeks uh, months ago, months ago we were taught about angels ministering. To us. When the heavens open, angels attend to our requirements. They are able to take our needs. Wanachukua ile utaji lako into heaven. Peleka mbinguni. Bring the answers. Wanachukua majibu. Back to us. Wanakupatia wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. When the heavens open, mbinguni zifunguka hapo. The angels minister to us. Malaika wanatuhudumia sisi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. When the heavens open, mbingu zifunguka hapo. It won't be difficult for us to witness. Haitakuwa ngumu basi kutoa ushuhuda. About the love of Christ. Kuhusu upendo wa Yesu. We will be walking around. Tutatembea kila mahali. Sharing with people. Tukiambia watu. Our loved ones. Kuhusu wale tunaowapenda. Our community. Wale mtaani pale. About the love of Jesus. Kuhusu upendo wa Yesu Kristo. Because heavens open opening upon your life. Maana mbingu zifunguka maisha ni mwako. Totally transforms. Inakubadilisha kabisa. Totally transforms. It totally transformed Jesus Christ. Before the heavens opened and before he went for baptism. He used to help his father with carpentry. But you know what? After the heavens opened. He never went back to the workshop. He went to accomplish what God. Had him to do. So the heavens opening upon our lives. Transforms us. Inatubadilisha. Transforms us. Inatugeuza. We become another person. Tunakuwa mtu mwingine wa ajabu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Heavens opening. Bingu zifunguke. And us operating in the heavenly realm. Na tutembee katika kiungu. That's what we need in this generation. Tunataka jambo hilo katika sehemu hii. That's what we need in this generation. Nataka hivyo sisi. I was thrilled on Tuesday. Nilishtuliwa sana alamisi. When our speaker in the evening said. Mbapo mtungumzaji alisema. 
that there is something new that God is going to do next year. I don't know how many of us had that. And you know, as he spoke, in my heart it was registering revival 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 is coming because God has been speaking about it revival is coming but God wants to use those people who he has opened the heavens for because they are sons God wants to open uh, to use the people who he has opened the heavens to because they have been able to endure the wilderness he does not use weak people. He wants to use those people who can be able to say here I will stay until Jehovah comes home. And so my prayer even as I wind up is that you and I will be intentional about pursuing an open heaven. If, if it will mean me engaging more in prayer if it will mean me positioning myself as a son if it will mean me studying the word of God if it will mean me having more intimacy with the Holy Spirit then I will do it because the heavens must open above me before we get into 2019. Because when God will be doing whatever he wants to do in that Mungu year, I was telling him all that day, I was Nikona. telling him that Lord, if you are doing something in this season, Mungu please jimbo, don't do it without me. I want mimi. to be a part of it. Kuwa ni I want to be a part of the revival. Kuwa huo, ufufuo huo. I want to be a part of the great awakening that is coming. Kuwa ya ufufuo, I don't huo. want to miss it out. Kuhukosa kamwe. Because you know you can miss it out ukosa wajua. by sitting in the comfort zone Ukika, tuma, and hapo. saying I've been born again for this number of Sema years. Saying I've known this Bible for this number of years time has come for us to arise and desire open heavens praise the Lord going to ask us to stand on our feet open heavens is a song we normally sing the Lord if I have found favor in your eyes Lord, please. I will do anything. I'll cross the hottest desert just for your glory. If I have found favor in your heart. And as we sing that song, I don't know how desperately you want an open heaven. I don't know how desperate you are. But I know there's someone desperate in this place. It might be one or two. I want to tell you God is faithful. He never lets his people go with their prayers and answers. It could be a young person. It could be an old person. God is no respecter of persons. He looks at the motives of our hearts. And he desires to open heavens for each and every one of us. So even as you lift your voice and call on him. And ask him Lord open heavens. That your voice may rattle in every cage in my life. Open heaven Lord Jesus. That you may stand and fight the battles for me. As you call on him. He will answer you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. If we could just lift your hands and worship you. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. Lord, if I found favor in your sight.